everybody, it's Kayla and it's Sack of Pancakes. So I know that I'm a fresh face on a Tuesday um, and it's a little bit different because if you've been watching the channel you know that I'm the regular Thursday. Well, me and Adam did a little switcheroo so I am now your Tuesday which is kind of funny because, okay I'm just going to give you a little backstory. Um, when I started doing videos which was I can't even remember when. Adam talked me into it, actually. And um, I was, on this other sack of pancakes, I was our previous Tuesday. And um, I love Tuesday. I love Tuesday days. Um, I love Thursdays. But I like Tuesdays. And I don't know why. Tuesdays are a great day for me. Thursdays are a great day. But Tuesdays have a special place in my heart, I guess you could say, because, you know, I started making videos on a Tuesday, so here I am. Um, also, if you watch the channel this week, you realize that we have a new person, Ian, and I would like to welcome Ian to the channel. Um, he is our new Friday, as for now, but I know that there's some speak of him changing with Adam, because Adam's schedule is way too hectic. He can't, he can't keep up with it all. So, um... Okay, so I had the topic this week, and this week's topic was brought to you because of the recent Republican National Convention and the Democratic National Convention. Um, it's a little bit politics-centered, which should not be any surprise um, coming from me, and it was, what is one topic or issue that um, you are passionate about that you feel is not being mentioned at all or not mentioned enough? in the political arena during um, the election time now. So, I have a few issues, but um, the one major issue that I would like to say um, during normal election times is women's rights. Um, this election time is a little bit different because of Todd Aiken's um, comments about rape and it being legitimate rape, which was all ridiculous comments, but those comments started a new debate of women's issues and abortion, which um, has been very, very left out, I feel, in a lot of the election scenes um, here recently. And to me personally, I don't really know that it should be talked about. Abortion should not be a political issue. But to get it not to be a political issue, you have to talk about it. Because as of now, it's written into the law books, and therefore it's a political issue. Um, but my main issue with women's rights, other than abortion and pro-choice, is um, equal pay for women. And it's not spoken nearly enough at all. Um, actually, one of the best pieces of legislation that Obama actually made into law was the Lilly Ledbetter Act, which no one ever hears anything of and no one gives him any credit for. So um, that's definitely a big political issue that I think is left out of this um, election cycle. Also, another... Um, Another topic, I think, especially out of this election cycle, is um, foreign policy and the war. Usually it's a huge topic. Um, this, this year it hasn't been at all because Romney nor Ryan have any foreign policy experience. And um, when Romney did go on a trip <laughs> internationally, he made a complete fool out of himself and looked like a big ass. And... Um, Obama has some foreign policy experience, but if you can remember back to 2008, he was coming in and he was running on this lack of experience because he didn't have any experience in foreign policy. And, um, I mean, I feel like out of the four candidates, the ones that have probably the most foreign policy experience would either be Obama or Biden, and that's only because um, Biden, because he's had more experience um, dealing with political, or just in the political arena, he's had a lot of experience dealing with um, foreign policy. And, I mean, Mitt Romney was just a governor, and I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, but you just don't get as much foreign policy experience. And Paul Ryan is still young, politi uh, he's still a young person in the political scene, so he hasn't really had that much. And then Obama, you know, he's only had these four years to get really, like, polished. And, you know, don't get me wrong, he's done some good on the foreign policy experience or foreign policy scene, but not as much as say like John uh, John McCain had in 2008. So, anyways, okay, as you can see, I love politics and I could probably talk all day about this. But 
I'm going to cut you short because I'm sure you don't want to hear me ramble. Um, Patrick, I don't think that your video was bad yesterday at all. Um, I love to see when people don't really know a lot about politics and they're willing to take a stance. And um, that shows that you're actually passionate about something. And, um, you know, whether you think that somebody else thinks you're wrong or whatever, it's still your opinion. And you have the freedom to, you know, believe whatever you want to believe. Um, so, yeah, those are my two issues. Um, there's, you know, I think education is left out a lot in election scenes, too. But um, this, you know, hopefully at the DNC you'll see a lot more um, talks about education and trying to cut student loans and things like that, you know, to decrease them to help out students to get into, you know, education and college and things like that. So hopefully, 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 um, during this week of the Democratic National Convention, you'll see more talk of that than you did in the Republican National Convention. So if you ha aren't going to watch, please watch. Um, I just please, you know, be be involved and know what they're talking about and at least have some slight clue um, because these people make the decisions. They, they make the laws that you have to live by. So you should at least know who you're putting in there. Um, if nothing else, at least know their name, um, know their face and like maybe their you know main topic issue or whatever. Just know something about them. So um, I'm going to sign on out. It was a great talking to you all on this Tuesday. Um, I missed Tuesday, so I'm back for good now. And um, hopefully I won't forget because I almost forgot that I switched. So um, everyone have a great rest of Tuesday, and I will see you all next week. Bye, guys.